guys, I wanted to um, share with you something that we do in class a lot. We will um, often get on to the smart board and we will do a My Big World lesson. It usually relates to something that we've been talking about, something that's relevant to the season. And so I wanted to um, do this recording to show you kind of what that looks like. And um, you guys can talk about it at home and um, it's really easy. I think I have shared out some my big world logins if you guys are still interested Just let me know if you don't have that So I'm going to share my screen on here and we will walk through What we do when we do our my big world So let me go ahead and share my screen here All right, let me see if I can move this and I can get a big screen There we go all right, so on this My Big World, um, if you look at the cover, you can see that there are lots and lots of different kinds of bunnies. And it says, hop, hop, hooray. Some bunnies' ears stand up. Some bunnies' ears flop down. Some bunnies have cottontails. All of them hop around. And then it says, can you hop like a bunny? So if you have a minute and you need to get some energy out, you can hop like a bunny. You can say boing, 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 just like a little bunny. And then if you look, this bunny's ear is folding down like it said in the poem. And this bunny's ears are standing tall. And then they have these cute little tails. They kind of look like a cotton ball. And so if you look at them, they call them cotton tails because they kind of look like cotton balls. This one's laying on his belly and it says funny bunny. How silly. Here's a little video. Um, anytime we do these My Big Worlds, we always talk about the cover, and then we usually do the, the video, and uh, a lot of the kids have gotten really used to knowing what this little symbol means. So they'll say, Miss Seal, play the video. Miss Seal, play the video. So we'll go ahead and watch this for a second. Rabbit Roundup. Has anyone ever told you to be quick like a little bunny? Bunnies are quick. Look at this one go. They are great hoppers and fast runners, but they aren't born that way. Baby rabbits are called kits. They are born completely helpless. If you notice these little bunnies, the, the new word, the new vocabulary word is kits. And so kits is a baby bunny. And if you look, you'll notice that they're missing something on their skin. They don't have any, they don't have any fur. They're tiny and pink. They have no fur and they can't see. Mother rabbits give birth to litters, which means that many babies are born at a time. They drink their mom's milk and grow bigger. Soon they begin to grow fur. They open their eyes. The bunnies stay in the nest while the mother goes out. They if he also just said that a bunny stays in a nest, and so a bunny has a nest. What's another animal that you know that lives in a nest? Sometimes in a tree and has wings. A bird. A bird also has a nest. So a bunny has a nest and a bird has a nest. Then she comes back to feed them. If you see a baby rabbit outside by itself, that doesn't mean it needs a home. Its mom will be back soon. After a few weeks, the rabbits are ready to leave the nest and find their own food. They eat plants, grasses, bark, twigs, and flowers. They also eat peas, lettuce, and carrots. I know that there's some friends in class that really like to eat their peas and their carrots. And I've even seen some kids come with a salad in their lunch before. So that means you eat lettuce. So rabbits eat some things that we also eat. So peas, carrots, and lettuce are all things that Miss Theo likes to eat and Miss Theo's baby Benjamin likes to eat. And I know some of my friends bring th these things to eat at school too. Have you heard the story of Peter Rabbit? He steals food from a farmer's garden. Real rabbits do that too. Many farmers think rabbits are pests. Rabbits usually look for food at dusk, dawn, or during the night. In the daytime, 
Some rabbits rest in shallow holes in the ground called forms. Some climb into burrows dug by other animals. Others dig a maze of underground burrows called a warren. Those were lots of new words. So if you wanted to go back and review, you could rewind. And a warren is when they go down to the ground and they build lots of tunnels and holes. The form is where they like to dig like a shallow spot to sit where it's nice and uh, cool. And you can go back and you can review some of that. A warren can have many rooms, entrances, and exits. They are great places for rabbits to rest and hide. Rabbits are always on the lookout for predators. Those long ears are very good for hearing when another animal comes near. And those twitchy little noses give rabbits a great sense of smell. You should practice trying to twitch your nose. Miss Steele's not very good at it. If a predator does come along, rabbits have a few ways to get away. They can freeze in place, flattening their body and ears to look like a rock. Or they can take off, fast. Some rabbits can run up to 20 miles an hour. They run in a zigzag pattern, which makes them really hard to follow. And some rabbits hide from predators in a way that might surprise you. Splash! Swamp rabbits are great swimmers. If an animal is chasing them, they can dive into the water and hide underneath. But look out, bunny. Swamps are also home to alligators. Yuck! Oh no, I did not know that bunnies like to go in the water. But it looks like the bunnies that go in this water might be in danger too. Yikes! The eastern cottontail rabbit is the most common kind of rabbit in North America. Its tail looks like a ball of cotton. That's how it got its name. But there are many other kinds of rabbits, too. Lop-eared rabbits have ears that go down instead of up. Pygmy rabbits are so tiny they fit in the palm of your hand. And some angora rabbits might have hair that's longer than yours. Some kinds of rabbits live in the wild, while others live with people as pets. If you watch rabbits closely, you might learn to speak bunny. For instance, if you see a rabbit thump its feet, it might mean that it senses danger. On the other hand, if a bunny is relaxed, it might do a big bunny flop. Whether they're running, Flopping, hopping, or leaping, you can see rabbits in all sorts of places. Look, there goes a cottontail hopping down the bunny trail. All right, so that video gave us lots of information about different things about bunnies. So let me flip the page, and it says that what do rabbits do? So we're going to look over here at number one. Number one says rabbits nibble. They eat vegetables, grass, and flowers. Can you nibble like a rabbit? Then it says rabbits, number two, right here in the yellow, says rabbits dig. They can dig deep holes in the dirt. Can you dig like a rabbit? They use their front claws, and I think sometimes they use their back ones. Down here at number three, that's purple says rabbits can snuggle. They like to be close to each other. Can you snuggle like a rabbit? I bet you do, especially around nap time and when you get sleepy. I bet you like to snuggle up in your bed or snuggle up with your mom or your dad or a lovey. Then right here on number four, it's pink. It says rabbits wiggle their noses. Their noses can go fast or slow. Can you wiggle your nose like a rabbit? Miss Steele already asked that, but I'm not very good at it. I can wiggle it like this. And then it says Clifford's big word over here is the warren. We talked about that in the video. It says pet rabbits live with people, but some wild rabbits dig their homes and dig their own homes. A big rabbit home underground is called a warren. How many rabbits are in this warren? So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, four is over here, 
and five. And then I'm sure if you're watching with your kiddos, they're gonna tell you that there's another video right here. They know. <laughs> It was just a little cute video of a bunny wiggle on his nose. All right, let's go to the back page here. Oh, it says, how far did this bunny hop? This one's gonna be fun to do together. So it looks like on the example, we have this one bunny and he hopped all the way to this number right here. So let's go back and count them together. We have one, two, three, four. So let's go down to this black bunny. This black bunny hopped all the way to this number right here. So we're gonna say one, two. This bunny hopped two blocks. Now we're gonna look at this gray bunny and this gray bunny hopped all the way over to this number, number three. So let's count to three. One, two, three. And then down here with this brown kind of tan bunny, he hopped the biggest, he hopped all the way over to this number right here, number five. And look, he fell to his belly. So let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Good work. All right, so let's look at this really fast. Let's do a little bit more math with it. This is what we would do at circle time. And if we look, we can see which bunny hopped the littlest, which bunny hopped the least. It means that he did not go very far. If we look, we have this bunny that went to number four, this bunny that went to number two, this bunny went to number three, and this bunny went to number five. So which number is the littlest number? Which number is the lowest? Number two. Number two is the lowest number or the least, the least. And then we have to think, which bunny hopped the most? the most numbers, the greatest number. So if we look again, we have four, we have two, we have three, and we have five. So let's think about that. Which, which number has the most? Is it four? No, because it still has a black right here we could fill in. Is it two? No, we just said that one was the least. Is it three? Oh, well, look, if we look, we still have two boxes right here we could color in. Oh, let's look down here. Is five the most? Is five the greatest number? It is. If you look, all the boxes are filled in. And also, when you hold up the number five, it uses all of the fingers on one hand. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. And then you can clear the answers and you can do them again. Let me go ahead and get out of the shared screen. All right, so that was just a little uh, My Big World, and I picked the bunny video because I think that there's a very special bunny that may still come and visit you guys this weekend, the Easter Bunny. I know that it might be a little bit different this year, but I know that um, you can look forward to seeing that Easter Bunny come in this weekend. So I just wanted to um, share a little lesson with you guys, and I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy, and I will see you soon.